Hi, my name is Michael Gilmore, and I'm here once again to take a look at the industry report this week and how the monetization side of the domain industry is really going. And I must admit, like, I love looking at these stats each and every week because they, they give a snapshot in time of what's actually happening. And I, I also like giving those predictions, like I think we're going to get a 5% increase um, across the coming months and uh, versus the traditional 15% downturn uh, that we would normally see during the American and European summer, vac summer uh, period. But anyway, so what's actually happened at a very high level before we look at the numbers themselves, so what's actually occurred um, in the, the whole area of monetization. Two words, Google strikes back. Well, Google strikes back, that's three words, three words, <laughs> Google strikes back. Um, one, one of the things we can definitely see is that Google's definitely um, giving a, a making a big surge forward in securing more of the domain traffic, that's for sure. That's the first thing I noticed. The second thing I noticed is that um, there's less continuing the less volatility compared to we saw what it, during the COVID time, and uh, which is always good news. And the third thing I saw is that the um, obviously the direct advertisers are falling away a little bit um, under the sort of the Google onslaught as such, but um, there's still a substantial part of the revenue line for um, for the domain monetization industry. But anyway, without talking very much more, uh, let's take a look at the, this week's stats and see what they have to tell us. Okay then, so here we go. Um, so domain industry update week 14. Gee, the, weir the, the year is going so quickly. So what's actually going on here? Um, let's take a look at the normalized RPM. As we can see with the normalized RPM, I want to look at the last uh, about two weeks, and you can see that that's the blue line just there. It's beginning to come upwards, and there's definitely a trend forming there, which is great news. Because uh, typically in June, particularly at the late stage of June, we see the trend starting to go down. But this time, there's definitely a trend going upwards, and you can see that's reflected in the RPM as well, which is the red line, and it is moving upwards um, ever so slightly, uh, which is always good news versus the traditional it's going downwards. Okay then, so uh, what, what else have we got here? Um, we've got the EPC and CTR, they're doing their, their standard inverse, uh, inverse dance that we um, typically see um, in these charts. Although, you know, it makes me wonder whether um, of what's going on here in particular. Like if we look at the, the CTR is in blue, for some reason, for some reason, and I don't know the reason why, blue would, the blue line's going upwards, which suggests more people are clicking as the summer comes on, which is, in some ways, could be a bit counterintuitive because people will be more likely to be outside, so less opportunity to click compared to the middle of winter, and all you want to do is go on and buy something from Amazon. So um, I, I really don't know I, uh, uh, what's going on there, to be quite blunt with you. Okay, so then we've got our volatility graph. Now, our volatility graph, this is the overall volatility chart, and you can see that um, there was more highs than lows. There was that great big dip, but then it, it's the, the last um, week there's quite a number of highs or in the green sort of zone, which is, once again, good news um, uh, for us. Now, what we'll see is what's actually driving that shortly, and that's where it becomes very interesting. Okay, so um, so what's going on with Google? Google's the blue line, and direct advertisers are the red line. And as we can see here, the, the red line, there's been a distinct trend downwards this whole of this year, which is um, being surprising because I would have thought that the, the direct advertisers would be fighting back and that sort of stuff. But they, they started to at one stage, but they've fallen away this last, last week. Uh, week in a bit, um, and uh, which is a bit disappointing because it's always great to have more advertisers and more um, opportunities for um, uh, uh, for the domain traffic to go to. Okay, so 
Now here's the interesting chart which I introduced a few weeks ago. This is what percentage of traffic is won by direct advertisers. And you can see it's a really, really small amount of the traffic. It, it's like it's like eight to nine percent of the traffic. It's really small uh, amount of the traffic is won by direct advertisers. But let's just go back to the previous chart that um, tiny amount of traffic is generating a substantial amount of revenue. So only eight to nine percent of the traffic is generating between 30 to 40 percent of the revenue. So if you don't have direct advertisers in your mix, then you're really losing out. You really are, you're, you're losing out substantially. So whatever you do, make sure you get them um, happening for you. Okay, so now let's take a look at the normalized RPM Google versus direct. Um, and we can see there the Google and the blue line, it's been powering onwards, it really has. Like I must admit, uh, it's been a while since I've seen Google really power on like this. Um, and it surprised me. And uh, you can see that direct advertisers, the trend line is fall, is falling downwards. Like you could make an argument that uh, maybe the direct, it's beginning to stabilize. I don't really know. But there's one thing for sure. Google is really fighting back. Like it is striking back pretty hard. Yeah, and the way it's doing it is in higher earnings, which is always good news um, for, um, for, for domain monetization. So it'll be interesting to see the coming weeks. Um, is this trend of upward, pr upward pressure on uh, normalized RPM, is it sustainable? Uh, at what point of time does Google say, enough's enough. Look, we've given you guys a bit of a joyride. Now it's time for us to take more margin. So. Um, I don't really know. It's going to it's going to be an interesting one, that's for sure, uh, to see, see what occurs. Okay, so um, that's once again we're zoomed in um, on the last two weeks of that chart, and you can see there that um, the blue line is definitely trending upwards, and the red line is trending downwards. So, if you're a direct advertiser or a direct advertiser network, this should be a warning sign to you that hey, you've really got to start fighting back if you want to get that traffic. If you don't want the traffic, hey, business as usual. But I think you do want the traffic. Therefore, it's time to start paying up a bit more. Okay, so now what's happened to volatility? I always, I love this chart, I must admit. This is like comparing Google versus um, the direct advertisers once again, looking at this week's normalized RPM versus the previous week. Now, I could do it a little bit differently and sort of do the average of the previous month or something, but I, I, I thought I'd just settle with this for now anyway. I might do some more analysis on this for next week's video and just see, can we pull out any more insights from this? But when you take a look at it, um, there's one thing that really strikes me is that there's a few big bumps with, uh, with Google um, in this mix. So they're quite volatile during the COVID-19 crisis, but then it just, it's almost like it's completely smoothed out. Um, there's a few bumps at the end there, you can see. Um, but if you look at the direct advertisers, they're, during COVID-19, they just didn't have the advertiser depth. So if, they, if one advertiser dropped out, then uh, there's a massive swings and upsurges and all that sort of stuff. They're all over the shop. Um, and it's almost like it's slowly calming down there towards the end. But even still, this every few days looks like there's a big swing around. And um, yeah, that's one of the, the challenges, I think, for direct advertising networks is to get that depth of advertising. That's a big, big challenge of how do you get that depth of advertising in your networks. If you lose one advertiser, it doesn't really negatively impact things. From a park logic perspective, we actually don't mind because um, uh, from our side is that <clears throat> we're quite mercenary that we'll send the traffic to whoever will pay the most for it at that instant in time. So uh, having troughs and gups and peaks and all that sort of stuff, that's all good news because what, what we do is we ride the troughs, uh, ride the peaks, <laughs> ride the peaks um, uh, along the way for, for our clients. So that's always a good thing. So that's what's actually happened um, this particular week. And it's been an interesting, interesting journey just watching this. 
Now, once again, we haven't seen a decrease, which is a good thing. That decrease really hasn't happened. Um, and in fact, we've seen the reverse of that. Now, we all need to hold our breath, but then something happened to, uh, th this last few days, uh, which I thought, ah, that makes sense. And it can sound a little bit silly, but my wife typically doesn't buy things online. But last few days, she spent a bit of money online. She went shopping for various things because she, she got a, just had surgery on her foot and all that sort of stuff. But so she, she couldn't go out, so she went shopping uh, online and she bought a whole lot of stuff. And I thought to myself, you know what? I think that in this environment with COVID, that is, uh, people are getting used to going online. And, and I saw a news report um, uh, about businesses saying there's a crisis in office space right now that's occurring because businesses become used to go, um, going online to conduct business and they just don't need the office space anymore. That's what they discovered um, during COVID. So I think we're really in for an interesting run and that there's going to be a whole surge of people continuing to come online as more and more businesses realize, you know what, we don't have to have these things called offices. People can be trusted. They do work, and they work hard working from home. But anyway, I hope you found that interesting for this week, and I look forward to seeing you again next week as we look at another industry update, and maybe I can pull something special out for, for week 15. Anyway, thanks a lot for that. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video, and you find them really valuable for your business and helping you make better decisions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or pass the video on to your friends. Anyway, thanks a lot for that. Have a great day. Bye.